Welcome to Animal World. Let's enjoy the videos today and keep learning about the wild animals. The African wild dog is a highly social animal, living in separate hierarchical packs for males and females. Only among social predators, the female rather than the male live dispersed from the herd when sexually mature, and the young are given priority to feed first when the prey is caught. The species is predator specialized for antelope, which it catches by chasing them to prey, extortion. Like other dogs, they birth food to their offspring, but this action is also extended to the older dogs, to the point that they are the basic of African white dog social life. The kudos was eating grass near the river, where it was attacked by the wild dogs. They often follow hers and attack prey very focused. The fear kudo flat and the wild dog chase. They have identified prey and attack in very large number. The kudo seek to flee into the quarter to avoid the onslaught of the enemies. Some dogs are very aggressive and reckless. They pursue even when the kudo is under quarter. However, due to the physical advantages, the kudo clearly has the advantages of being under quarter. At this time, the kudo attacked the stray dogs. He jumped up and down so the dog could not hurt him. In the end, the dogs started to give up on this hunting trip and now the kudo is safe. Let's come to the next part of the videos today and see what battles will happen. The hot weather of the African grassland make food sources increasingly scarce, and the animals had to move to other fertile land. To do this, the wildebeest must cross the river, and crocodile is always the most feared danger. Wildebeest often graze on grassland mingling with zebra, helping to raise the awareness about the appearance of predators. They are alert to warming signals emanating from other animals such as baboons. Under quarters, however, it is difficult for them to recognize the danger. On the other side of the river, they have another enemy. The lion is observing the movement and selecting prey among the wildebeest. Crocodile are large reptiles that prefer the quarter. They live on a wide area of tropical regions of Africa, Asia, South America and Oceania. Crocodiles tend to live in areas of slow-moving rivers and lakes. Their food is quite diverse, mainly live or dead mammals as well as fish. Crocodiles are ambush hunters who wait for fish or land animals to come close then attack quickly. The crocodile began to attack the wildebeest herd with its wide open muzzle. The wildebeest suddenly jumped up and with the large body mass, the, that jump could hurt the crocodile. The crocodile constantly attacked but none of them were subdued. After a wild attack, the crocodile gave up and it did not have any good bait in this hunt. On the shore, the lion is waiting and choosing a prey. Wildebeest herd ran away in his panic. A shame of lion, the lord of the beast, he quickly caught a prey and defeated it in a flash. Finally, the journey to new land, there will still be dangers and losses that are inevitable for the fate of wildlife. In the next section of our videos today, let's see what other battles will happen. The honey badgers go in search for food as usual. He's digging and searching for creatures living in the ground. But today, the honey badger's termite is another animal. 
it is seeing the snack nearby and immediately it searches for a snake's movement. Snakes are also the dangerous reptile in the natural because they can carry venom in its body. Honey badgers charge and will respond by snake bite to the tips of the nose. The honey badgers were so angry, and the two animals attacked each other back and forth. The both have precaution and attacks on the opponent. The snake bends like spring, so it can exert force when facing the enemy. It starts to pluck the sharp teeth into the head and nose of the honey badgers. Honey badger has a sharp teeth and is precise by marks. It was angry at being attacked by its snake, and at this time, its goal was to aim at the prey head. A moment later, the snake was unable to resist the predators and mercilessly attack in the head. And finally, honey badger had a good meal. In the next section, let's watch the battle between the herd of animals and a species of predators but living alone in the wild. The wild dogs often attack smaller prey of herbivores, but in large number, they sometimes attack other dangerous predators like lions. When they meet the hunting lion, the wild dog aggressively attacks the lion. And now the lion is also walking closer and closer to the white dogs. Well, a very dramatic match started when the lion also rushed to the white dog. The white dog fled into the forest. The lion followed, but unfortunately for the lion, it was trapped by the wild dog. They surrounded the lion and attacked continuously. The lion alone has to stand in the midst of dangers coming from a pack of aggressive animals. They attack from all sides and the lion begins to get tired. Actually, the dog don't want the lion to be their dinner, but perhaps making the lion with is their purpose. After a combination of attack, when the lion was sorted and no longer strongly fought back, the dog left and the lion lay there. In the intense sunlight of Africans, it makes the animal seem to easily get angry. The buffalo dips under the mud to cool its body and protect its skin from the heat of the sun. The leopard is resting in the shade to escape the heat. A buffalo who had just taken a mud bath was observing on the shore and did not seem to be as gentle as his daily nature. The animals around also left elsewhere. The buffalo moved closer to the lying leopard and around the meadow, there were many other animals watching these actions. The leopard is wary of the fierce buffalo near it, and although the leopard is the predator, its horn can knock it off any time. It quickly climbed up a nearby trees, so it didn't have to face any danger from the buffalo. Now the buffalo charged to the tree. It tried to shake the tree trunk so that the leopard could fall. I wonder what leopard has done to make the buffalo go crazy like this. After a bit of slamming into the tree, the leopard still stubbornly refused to remove. The buffalo finally left and now the leopard will be safe.
Thank you for watching our videos today. Like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you next time.